Today marks 29 years since a gunman shot at a van of Jewish students on the Brooklyn Bridge, injuring three teens and killing 16-year-old Ari Halberstam. Since then, his mother has dedicated her life to fighting to eradicate hate. She sat down with CBS News' Hannah Klieger on this mournful occasion. It's not a tragedy any mother recovers from. I miss him every single day. 29 years after a terrorist murdered Ari Halberstam and injured three other Jewish boys on the Brooklyn Bridge, his mom, Devorah, mourns every day like it's the first. To think that he was murdered, he was slaughtered because he was a Jew. Flowers from well-wishers stand on her table. Photos of him can be found all over the house. She says the day his life ended was the day her mission changed. Making sure that I do everything within my power to stop hate in any form that it takes against any people. For more than a year, she's been the chair of the NYPD Hate Crime Review Panel, a group of five diverse civilian leaders who provide oversight over police hate crime investigations. Why is this panel necessary? It's really important because, again, of the egregiousness of what a hate crime is. But hate still manages to rear its ugly head. According to the NYPD Hate Crimes Dashboard, 2021 saw 531 hateful incidents. 2022, had 607. Police data shows that Jewish people are by far the most common target. Despite the constant uphill battle, Halberstam says she remains optimistic. In 2005, she founded the Jewish Children's Museum, which bears Ari's name. Its main mission is to educate young people and promote tolerance. I will never give up on the kids in this country. We need to reach out to them before Hate gets to them. 29 years of working despite her woe. Mourning with a mission one day at a time. In Crown Heights, Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News. And Halberstam's killer, Rashid Baz, was sentenced to 141 years in prison. And more than a decade after his conviction, he admitted that he shot the students because they were Jewish.